Hi and welcome to another Healthy You, Healthy Earth. Wildflowers are becoming a common news story this day and age. California, British Columbia, the Amazon, and now tragically Australia have all made headlines in this past year. And it really is tragic as Australia is blazing with unprecedented bushfires with dramatic effects on both human and wildlife. An estimated 15 million acres have burned and it is likely one third to one half of the koala population, a species already threatened by deforestation, have been killed by the fires alone. And my immediate reaction is to send my thoughts and prayers to Australia because what else can I do? But that alone will do nothing to change this devastating trend that we are experiencing. We are seeing fires become more rampant, droughts more severe, species disappearing from this planet, and weather becoming more unpredictable. But what can we do? Thoughts and prayers? Send money? I believe in actions. While reducing our carbon footprint will not help Australia right here, right now, it can help prevent the next big fire or the next big disaster. Yes, you can help prevent the next big disaster. You, right here, right now. And I'm gonna tell you the other kicker. You can get something out of it too. Now just a few healthy you, healthy earths ago, I discussed how I connected zoo visitors to conservation by telling them how they could help save elephants by eating healthy and taking care of themselves. And the same goes for saving Australia, koalas, or any other endangered species and, and potentially helping with the next big wildfire disaster. By working on your fitness and healthy habits, you can reduce your carbon footprint and combat climate change. I mean, the list of potential habits are endless. you improving your sleep, drinking water, exercising more, spending time in nature, finding some relaxation and leisure activities to rejuvenate your energy, and yes, of course, eating right, can all help us, but also have a positive impact on the environment. My thoughts and prayers are right now with Australia, but right now, so are my actions. I'm eating clean, living green, and training positive. I'm doing what I can for me, for Australia, and for the entire planet, for the Amazon, for British Columbia, for Oregon, California, for everyone, today, tomorrow, and forever.